Hello and welcome to Field Notes. I'm back today to talk to you guys about another geology basic, and this time it's the Bowen's Reaction series. You will come across this idea in the petrology section of geology. Now for those of you who don't know, petrology does not have anything to do really with petroleum. It is literally the study of the origin and composition of rocks. So while petroleum does have a place, like it has a place in most things in geology, it is not exclusively what you study in petrology. The Bowen's Reaction series is really at the heart of petrology, so when you're starting out it is a super useful thing to be able to call on. First, let's get the obvious out of the way. The Bowen's Reaction series was developed by Norman Bowen, which means you need an apostrophe and it goes here, not here. This is important. Petrologists get grumpy when you get that wrong. What the Bowen's Reaction series shows us is when you have liquid rock, or magma, different minerals will crystallize at different temperatures, and it happens in a specific order. This all came about because Bowen and many geologists before him noticed that there were certain minerals in a lot of the same rocks, and then there were some minerals that seemed to never be found together. So in the early 1900s, he began experimenting. He melted igneous rocks at temperatures of 1600 degrees Celsius and higher, and then let it cool to a specific temperature. He then let that magma sit at that temperature for a while, and let whatever crystals wanted to crystallize to have time to do it. And then he cooled it very quickly by throwing it into a bucket of water. Not everything would have crystallized at this point, but some would, and the rest of it was fairly easy to ignore because it had turned to glass. He did this at a lot of different temperatures and started to develop the Bowen's reaction series. In fact, he found that there were actually two different branches of this sequence, and these are called the discontinuous reaction series and the continuous reaction series. The discontinuous series are mafic minerals. If the chemistry of the magma has everything that these minerals need, Need, it will form each of these minerals in sequence. The first mineral to form is going to be olivine. Olivine likes to crystallize at high temperature and high pressure, so it is going to be the first thing to come out of a melt. However, if the magma is allowed to cool further, the created olivine will react with the rest of the melt and create the next mineral in the sequence, pyroxene, which, if allowed to cool more, will form amphibole and then biotite. This is called the discontinuous branch because of the stepping to each mineral that occurs. Glad you this falls first. Ow. On the opposite side is the continuous reaction series, and this deals with the plagioclase feldspars. So instead of changing minerals, we are simply changing one type of mineral. At the same temperature that olivine crystallizes, so will calcium-rich plagioclase. And as you reduce the temperature of the magma, more sodium will crystallize out and create a more sodium-rich variety of plagioclase. As you continue down the sequence, the two eventually do join up, and then you start to crystallize your felsic rock. These are your orthoclase feldspars, your muscovite, and then what is it? The slug of the mineral world quartz. One of the biggest things that you gain by understanding the Bones Reaction series is kind of a rock common sense. Let me explain. If you have an olivine rich basalt and you have a hunk of quartz in it, what can you deduce about that rock? That you found the first example of olivine and quartz crystallizing at the same time? Or maybe that the rock surrounding the melt was quartz rich. If you didn't know that quartz was way down the line of rocks that olivine likes to party with, you may not have given that piece of quartz a second thought. So the Bowen's reaction cycle is a really great starting point to kind of understand how rocks form, and that is why it is at the heart of petrology. I found something kind of interesting while while I was researching for this video uh, that says it is like Strickler's Laws of Geofantasy, which says that the number one rule is that anything that works at a regional level will break down at the local level. There are always exceptions, there are always weird rocks and weird stuff that happens. It is a really good starting point, it is a really good way to kind of understand what rocks are doing at what temperatures but always remember to take it with a grain of salt. So that's gonna be it for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Maybe you understand Bowen's reaction cycle a little bit better. Remember, if you like learning little snippets of geology, to hit that like button. Subscribe if you would like to see more, and I will see you guys next time. So while patrol, so while patrol, beep 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 beep. So while patrol, so while patrol, petroleum. Hello and welcome to the witcher. This is Game Time King, and we are going to start with the game that I can most uh, easily compare to Skyrim. <laughs>